Timers are crucial, not only for arenas and statues, but also in logic gates. And they're quite easy to understand as well. If we hook up a switch, a timer and a lamp, we can see that the lamp blinks once every second because the timer has a 1 on it. Let's instead say we want to push the button, we want to wait a certain time and then something should happen. Now the easiest way to do this is just connecting the switch to a dart trap and then the output to a pressure plate which will end up giving some delay in between. However, there's a big issue with this, and that is dart traps can't be spammed. There's a delay between when you can shoot one dart until you can shoot the next dart. You can use portal guns to cut down the amount of time you have to wait between presses. However, the issue still remains. We can build something similar using logic gates. The switch will turn the timer on, and then after one second the timer will give an output. The output will turn the logic gate on, and as soon as the logic gate turns on, it will turn itself off and turn the timer off, along with toggling the lamp. This is also the reason behind the smoke, because the logic gate will turn itself off right after it just turned on. We can also change the type of timer to make it faster or slower. Here I'm using 1 4th of a second, which will be a lot faster, something similar to the dart trap. And if we go back to the 1 second timer, we can even add a new timer in between the logic gate and the lamp, causing us to get a certain amount of outputs every time we press the switch, and this is more useful than it seems. Now there's one issue with the logic gates, which is if we want these blocks to be off for only one frame and then immediately turn back on, well then there's no timer for one frame, the fastest timer we have is one quarter of a second. So there are two solutions to this problem. First we can use the dart trap. This switch will immediately actuate the blocks, making them turn off, as well as triggering the dart trap. As soon as the dart trap touches the pressure plate, which is after one frame I believe, the two blocks are going to get reactuated and turn back on. But we have the same issue as before, which is why we can't spam press the switch. Now instead we have this dummy solution. We have two teleporters. As soon as we press the switch, the dummy will teleport from one teleporter to the other. And then thanks to these hammered blocks that will act like hoiks, it will immediately move the dummy from the second teleporter back to the first one, along with triggering these two pressure plates along the way. And this will have the same effect as the dart trap above, but this will be super reliable. It can also be spammed, however it does take up a lot of space compared to the dart trap. It also requires the dummy to be loaded in before you can actually use it, so you can't place it far off screen because then the dummy pretty much doesn't exist. That's pretty much everything you need to know. Now let's try to build something weird. I'm going to be placing a few logic gates next to each other and these will be turned into a one-way shift register, which I made a video about recently. I'm now going to connect the inputs to a timer, which will in its turn be connected to an SR NOR latch, of which is something I'm going to make a video about in the future. This SR NOR latch will also be connected to the green wire that loops the shift register. Let's go over that again. When you press the switch, it will change the state of the SR NOR latch. This will make the timer trigger the one-way shift register once every quarter of a second. Once the shift register has gotten to the end, it will loop back to the beginning as well as resetting the SR NOR latch, ultimately turning off the timer and letting you press the switch once again. Let's see it in action. That's all. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.